Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. As always, there is a tremendous amount for us to do, and I'm looking forward to accomplishing, well, I'm going to say all of it, but let's be honest with ourselves, right? As much of it as we can in one sitting. There's actually quite a bit that's been piling up over the last several episodes that I've been thinking of more and more as time goes on. It always, um, you know, it starts to get, uh, things start to, uh, I guess, clog up, I guess, when we add new animals and when we sort of finish off enclosures, uh, simply because, well, especially when we add new animals, because that entire session ends up dedicated uh, to that animal and, uh, you know, making sure they get brought in okay, making sure the terrain is all right, making sure, you know, they're happy and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, uh, in fact, it's obviously, it's a, it's kind of a core part of the game. Uh, but when we kind of go back to back to back to back, adding new animals and spending very little time away from those newly added animals, perhaps predictably, some of the uh, long-term residents of the zoo end up a little neglected. And I think I need to solve that today. I think we need to kind of focus on some of our uh, existing enclosures, focus on some of our existing, uh, let's call them, situations, I suppose. Uh, so primarily, I think today is going to be a management session. Now, that's not to say we're not going to be doing a couple of beauty related things here and there as well. Uh, I do have some plans with regards to some uh, very important additions to make on that front with regards to uh, like aesthetic changes as well. But there is a fair bit of management that I want to focus on as well. Now today we were going to be adding a new uh, animal potentially. But like I always say, and this is why I always say it, nothing is set in stone until it's done. Uh, we're going to have a slight change in plans, and this is actually a twofold um, adjustment for me. You like how I'm switching things up over here and using this path that we like almost never use. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, a twofold, uh, a two pronged attack for me almost, you could say, uh, because not only do I want to do this management session for the sake of all of these animals who are, you know, like I said, kind of being neglected. Uh, but I also still have a fair bit of research to do with regards to uh, the animal I want to add next. Uh, and, and usually I take a pretty um, like focused approach when I'm researching the next animal. Uh, it's not like I'm researching, you know, four or five different uh, bits of folklore or animal um, a history or, or whatever it might be uh, at the same time, because that, as you can imagine, can get a little confusing when I'm in the middle of a time lapse going, hold on, wait a second, which animal was this about again? And I, I wouldn't want to end up in that kind of an awkward situation. Um, so I have got a fair bit of research done on the uh, next animal uh, that I want to add to the zoo. Many of you have given me some great suggestions as well with regards to uh, uh, how to approach said animal. Um, but I do still have to do a bit of... It's, it's, you guys need a washroom over here. Well, we, we got a washroom right over here. They should be fine. Uh, we got two washrooms right over there. Um, but yeah, so uh, so I, I do have some recommendations, some suggestions with regards to what I should look into, what I should look up. So that's been very helpful, uh, but still a fair bit to do on my end. So a little bit more research to do, and we will be adding that animal, I suspect. Well, I, have to think, I was thinking of doing it next session, but it has been brought up in the comments of the previous episode that it, uh, it's it been some time since we've done a beauty pass. It's been some time since we've done a proper lighting pass as well. And it's been some time since we've extan uh, extended. Wow. <laughs> like a portmanteau of uh, expanded and extended. Pick a word party. Pick one of them. Um, Let's go with extended. It's been a while since we've extended our... Uh, our wayfinding system as well. So there's a lot of stuff that uh, that needs doing that we've been kind of putting off to the side. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I did get some comments, like I said, in the previous episode, just, uh, you know, pointing out that there are a couple things that, uh, that uh, have been, you know, kind of lagging behind, I suppose. Uh, though with that said, I mean, we have added quite a few animals in quick succession. One, two, three, and Four, there we go. <laughs> I just almost don't recognize the space. Uh, we had four animals in very quick succession, so I think it uh, it makes sense that we now have to kind of step back a little bit for one session, maybe two sessions at most. Uh, but as soon as my research is done, I will be adding the new animal, and we'll be. Uh, I'll, I'm very very excited for uh, for what we're going to explore with that new space. But that'll be you know either next time or the time after that, based on again what I hear from you with regards to lighting passes and beauty passes. If we'd rather see that sooner, or if we'd rather see a uh, a new animal get added sooner. 
because uh, again, right, like we've, we've added so many in quick succession. So I'm just throwing it out there uh, just to get an understanding and I got to figure it out as well on my end because without knowing what I'm doing, I can't do it, right? Anyway, uh, with regards to what I'm doing, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, it's a bit of a management session, but there are some beautification elements as well. And there's a lot of... Uh, well, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done uh, in this area that isn't so much beauty related either or as as well either. Y you know what I'm getting at. There's a lot to do over here, um, particularly when it comes to making sure these uh, people do the right thing. Oh, it's so nice and dark in here. I I've got a, I got a really cool suggestion uh, for what to do in this cave, and I cannot wait to implement that. And we'll, maybe we'll try and implement that today as well. That's part of the uh, the beautification thing I was talking about that, uh, that I might want to implement, uh, that I want to... A chase today if you will all right so that's good those bins should do the trick there's one bin in here i feel like it'll fill up pretty quickly if i can find it again there we go you know let's go ahead and sort this out let's go ahead and get uh two bins over here uh by the way i want to mention it's been pointed out again that using recycling bins gives conservation credits uh, i thought we disproved that or or they changed that like it used to be that way and they decided not to keep that anymore or something like that did they change it back because uh because i don't recall i don't recall them uh changing it back but feel free absolutely to correct me if you know better because last i heard uh it is no longer a thing this is the other thing that was pointed out is that i keep forgetting to put down atms so let's go ahead and put down a couple atms over here i think that's fine i get enough space for uh you know what okay here here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move the uh, trash can to be here and move this to be there uh, and the reason why i'm doing that is because i genuinely believe that if there's a lineup around the atm then our guests might not <laughs> drop stuff off the other trash can um but yeah it's been uh uh it's been it's uh, it's been suggested that i create a system to remember all these things that i tend to forget um i'm gonna butcher it right now but the the abcs the atms the bins the cameras not, not a bad thing to do. I just got to now remember my ABCs and what the A and the B and the C and stand for. <laughs> but, you know, maybe that, that tip, you know, when you like sometimes like come up with a system and then you might not remember the system itself, but knowing that there was a system helps you remember. Like, do y'all ever get that? I used to get that all the time when I was uh, like when I used to like study for stuff um, like back in like school and university and whatnot. It'd, it'd always be like, OK, I don't, I don't remember the, the answer, but I remember that I had a system to remember the answer. I could just remember that I had a system. I can figure out what it is that I'm trying to remember. I also have, or I guess used to. I don't know if I still have a as solid a photographic memory as I as I used to. A lot of the time when I was like, you know, doing um, exams and tests and stuff. A lot of the time I'd be like, okay, if I if I like didn't know the answer to a question, because typically I like, you know, I would actually learn things. <laughs> but but sometimes it's just like you just can't. Uh, remember something in the middle of a test uh a lot of the time i would like visualize the page i'd be like okay it was on this page it was a uh, roughly you know one third of the way down the page on the left side uh i remember the color green and the color blue uh oh right this is the answer i remember where the sentence is this is what the sentence looked like like i weird but very helpful very helpful back in the day all right the eight the thing i don't like about the atm pardon my completely distracted blabbering there uh the reason i don't quite like the atm in there is that it just looks really bad the lighting i mean just really takes away from the space like holy crap i was really hoping that i could hide uh like like it says this is the light color but it doesn't mean this light it means that light if i if i make this um uh black you see what i mean this light stays lit and that's um a it doesn't make sense and B it's not what I'm going for. Yeah, no, that's that's hideous. Let's go ahead and put it somewhere else. Uh, that's why I was kind of experimenting with other spots. I don't want to block the views is the other thing. Hmm, come on. Could pop this up over here, I suppose, like before you get into this section. Yeah, sure. I mean, for the guests, that's a really long way to walk, but I don't want to put it down here either because I feel like it'd make the space pretty ugly. That's why up over here as well, I've kind of like tucked it away all the way back there. Uh, many of you commented on, like, how you felt this space felt, uh, you know, so, like, serene and calm and, you know, all the descriptors that I, that I was seeing in the in the comments were along those very lines, which I'm very glad to hear because that's exactly what I was hoping for and that's that's what I, that's the vibe I get as well. So I don't want to ruin that by adding this, like, bright, glowing, you know, ATM uh, in the middle of it all. 
Like, even that one bothers me, I'll be honest with you. The fact that you can kind of see it. Uh, what if I pop you down like this? At least you can't see the screen then. Yeah, that's... That's better. Not excellent, but better. I suppose I could... You can see how picky I can get sometimes with, uh, with this kind of stuff. This, this is the deliberation and the thinking that you don't see in the, uh, the time lapses. It's like me, like... Butzing about with, uh... This little minor kind of minutia and, and, and stuff. Uh, I got a lot of questions by the way last session um, about uh, my process, or if I have any tips for creating enclosures or making spaces interesting, or what have you. Uh, first of all, thank you for the kind words. Those are very nice compliments to suggest that my spaces are so nice that you would like to get tips from me. So thank you. Uh, very humbling to, to, to see comments like that. I appreciate it. Um, my advice would be uh, just take some risks. Just go out there, do something. Uh, do something that you feel is maybe stupid. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? You hit undo. The best that could happen is you force yourself to explore something. When we put in our Formosan black bear uh, in Ilitsu North, or at Ilitsu North, I took a huge risk. And I talked about it too during the time. I took a huge risk, didn't know if it would work, and it did. And because that risk worked, I became a lot more confident when I started applying the same theory to some of these spaces um, of just like, you know, I'm going to make a massive hole over here, and then I'll work with it. Uh, so that's one thing I would say. The other thing I would say is use references, um, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, I, I've been doing some form of you know, art or design or another since like the fifth or sixth grade or something. So uh, I, I've spent a big part of my life looking at references of things. Always use references. Use real-world references. Use other zoos, other you know, uh, YouTubers. Use you know, stuff you see over here if you like it um, particularly. Uh, use stuff you see in the movies you watch. Use that as inspiration and and look at like literally physically have an image to your side and look at it and and reference it while you're uh, working um, because then you'll start noticing things that you don't easily notice. Uh, you start um, spotting the things that make a space work or that make a design work and then you start replicating that because now you now you know what makes that thing work and eventually you can abandon the uh, you can abandon references and you can just kind of go it on your own. But until you've used references the first handful of times, you're not going to have uh, uh, you're you're just not going to you're not going to have that understanding. Um, or or that uh, in my personal opinion, again, it's all for, coming from from my personal uh, outlook on this stuff. Uh, you're not going to have the uh, just like the knowledge of what to look out for, uh, and you're also not going to have like the I would say the almost in some ways the confidence to tackle things in certain ways. Having a reference kind of lets you know it's like okay this is this is real this is maybe possible if you're looking at a reference from a you know from the game itself you'll be like okay I know the parts for this exist and I can probably replicate this somehow um, if you're looking at a real world example you you know that like about nine of space wow uh, you know you know like um, what you're trying to do will look good in the end you just have to find the right pieces for it. I don't remember who I just brought in. <laughs> Is it going to be listed over here? No, it's not. Great. All right. You know, just, we just, we're, I'd like to just empty this entire space. You know, what I should do is compare mates. I'm a door gets to stay. Right. Um, anyway, sorry. That's just me rambling. I, I got a couple of requests for like tips and stuff. And those are the kind of larger scale tips I would give. If you want something more specific. Um, I mean, I've been asked this a couple times. So I, I've kind of wondered about it. Um, but, uh, so far I do have that, uh, one video of, like, three unique ways to, uh, make, uh, none of the names seem familiar. Three unique ways to make an enclosure. Um, Amador. Oh, we got a, we got a male. I thought we got a female for some reason. Rosa Maria and Amador can stay. Okay, Rosa Maria and Amador. Oh, Amador is the one we just got. Okay, got it. Rosa Maria can stay then. My apologies, that was a bit messy. Um, but yeah, I got the uh, the three ways, three unique ways to to uh, make an enclosure video. You can watch that for some ideas. There are some other great tutorials out there as well. Um, again, like I was saying, I've been asked a couple times to maybe make one. I'm I I don't know. Maybe maybe I will. Um, I guess uh, it's just something for me to think about. I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, I feel I feel a little. But it's a it's a it's a it's a strange topic of conversation when it comes to like art and design and stuff because a lot of it does have to do with uh, 
I'm trying to figure out the way to put this. Um, there are two ways to approach learning how to do design. I wouldn't say art. I'm, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know when it comes to art. Uh, but when it comes to design, there are two kind of ways to approach learning. Uh, one is uh, the technical skills, the technical elements. And technical elements you can pick up. Technical elements if you you get through practice. Um, you do the same thing a hundred times, and you'll be like, okay, now I can do this very easily. And you, you speed up. Uh, as you learn how to do things, like that's not something that, uh, you know, you, you can learn the technical stuff. The other stuff is uh, thinking, learning how to think. Uh, that's the challenge. Um, and that's the thing you always have to try and like focus on. Yeah, again, in my personal humble opinion, it's something that I always try to train. Um, I always have tried to train in the past. It's what I've been kind of taught again in university to train. Hey, it actually stuck, uh, is, uh, is, is how to think. Uh, because once you, you, it's hard to learn how to think. It's hard to force a paradigm shift. But once you get yourself to change how you think uh, and to approach tasks with a different mindset, everything else falls into place. Then it's about technical skill. And technical skill, like I was saying, you can learn by watching stuff or just by doing. Practice makes perfect in that sense. Um, so that's the other thing I would say is uh, those, those are the, the three, I guess, kind of widespread tips I would give uh, to try and... Uh, you know, get better at, uh, at, 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 not better, but more experimental uh, at making, oh my God, that was bright, at making spaces. You know, be bold, take some risks, do quote unquote something stupid, so to speak, and then, you know, just work from it. Use references. References are always a good idea. Uh, and just like try and think differently, uh, which I know sounds so weird and it sounds so pretentious, but but trust me, it's, it's absolutely a thing. Uh, think differently. Uh, you know, if you normally think like a gamer, maybe think like a guest. If you normally think like a guest, maybe try thinking like a gamer. If you normally think pragmatically, maybe try thinking like a Disney artist, right? Um, or, or a Pixar artist or whatever, or, or like, or Tim Burton or whoever your favorite director or artist or whatever might be. Think like Picasso and then, and then that, 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 that like break your, your, um, barriers in that sense. And then you'll start doing some stranger and stranger things. Uh, what am I looking for over here? I know it's a type of light. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, again, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about that now because it's it's definitely got me distracted. I'm sure a lot of you are just like, okay, can you move on? So I apologize. Uh, but I got I, I don't know I don't know. I think maybe the game. Oh, I guess the game was on sale or something recently for Chinese New Year. Uh, but I guess maybe it's a lot of new players or a lot of people just finally picked it up. I don't know, but I don't know the reasoning behind it. I don't know where it came from, but I got a lot of. Uh, of, of questions. And I'd never mind those questions, by the way. Uh, if I, for some reason, gave off the vibe that I don't like answering those questions or stop asking me or anything like that, that's not what I meant. I just want to be crystal clear. Uh, I do enjoy, um, you know, all, all the all the questions and answers and tips and feedback, like I say it all the time, right? Uh, if I ever do have an issue with something, a big issue with something, I, I will flag it. So fear not. But, uh, but yeah, keep it coming. Uh, and and if, if anybody else has any tips of their own as well, I mean, again, I'm not, I'm I'm not I'm not an expert. I'm not a I'm not the be all and end all. If anybody else has any tips or any suggestions or any thoughts of their own that they'd like to share, if you disagree with what I'm saying, if you think I'm being completely, you know, incorrect in my statements, uh, go for it. I'd love to hear more perspectives. I'd love to hear more perspectives. Um, and you know what? Maybe some of the suggestions that y'all have uh, will help me find new ways to explore as well. And that's the other thing I would say is like, you know, uh, look for feedback. I mean, share stuff with, uh, with the community, share stuff with your friends who play the game and like, you know, just, um, vibe off each other. Maybe, you know, there's uh, lots of little things you can do to try and, uh, explore. Interesting. 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 Okay. Not exactly what I had in mind. Got a great suggestion. Um, that is the other thing, like, look for, like, don't be ashamed to adopt ideas or be fed ideas either. A lot of the stuff comes from, uh, from great suggestions that I get and, like, I try to make them my own, obviously. Uh, but sometimes the suggestion is just really good and you just kind of implement it the way it was suggested. It's like, hey, that was a great idea, thank you. Um, but, uh, what I was hoping to accomplish here, and again, this came from the comments of the previous episode, uh, was to create, like, a starry, like, a starry night kind of a vibe. Now, the problem is that these are so bright. Oh, you know what? I think I know what we need to do. I think I know what we need to do. I think... Man, 
gonna do a lot more management stuff. It's gonna end up being a beautification thing. Hold on, let me let me just try this one thing, and then I will uh, move on to some of the management stuff I was talking about. Um, I want to get floor light. This thing. I think this might work better. Uh, look out, lights turning on. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> I thought looking down here would make it less bright. I was wrong. My bad. All right, let's see. I think this might work actually. Because this light is so small, we just embed it. See, this is the difference between... Okay, like, that was actually a great example of what I was talking about. Ah, I'm sorry. I, I get really attached to these topics, so when I get asked these questions, I like talking about it. Um, so I apologize, but uh, but I enjoy talking about these things. I enjoy talking about the theory of design and art and, uh, and, and design thinking and the approach uh, to design. It's just... I love that stuff, so you're gonna, you're gonna have to bear with me, I apologize. Um, but uh, this is an excellent example of, uh, of thinking differently versus, uh, being, be, be, uh, this is the, this is the difference between like knowing to think differently versus knowing to execute differently. That technical thing I was talking about, right? The thinking is in the, uh, the concept, which again is from the, uh, the, the comments, right? The idea of this like starry, um, view, uh, and the technical aspect is finding the right pieces, moving those pieces in the right spots, laying them out, you know, making the right composition. That's the difference between thinking about a space, like trying to think think in a different way and uh, and knowing how to execute it technically. Two different skill sets. They're both, both important. But if you want to try different things, it's about thinking differently. Don't be limited by what you can do now. Think about what you want to be able to do and then find a way to make it happen. Sometimes it's not possible. And then, like I said earlier, what's the worst that can happen? What? You hit Control-Z a couple times, you undo. Um, the best that can happen is you manage to execute that idea that you had. All right. This isn't... It still brightens this space up a bit too much. It's like, I gotta find, like, a different space. Or not a different space, but a different light. But, like, when you look up, it's pretty nice. You know, maybe it's just too dense over here. You too many. Hmm. All right, this will need some finesse. I think I'll need to do this when I'm uh, when I'm time lapsing. I think I just need to like put on some music, focus on this layout, and focus on what pieces to use and stuff. Like some of them stick out a little bit too much as well. Eh? Like those are sticking out just a bit too much. The color of the light also matters. That's another example of like. That's a technical thing, knowing to change the color of the light. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave this as is for now. There's a, there's a nice idea here. I think we're like, when it's night outside, especially, I think it'll look uh, particularly good. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it night. Let's see if it's row six. What are we looking at? Why is it so bright? In the middle of the night. Be darker. I, I feel like it does work better when it's nighttime though, because it's just like the, the tones outside. We could we make these blue. Yeah, you know, I I'm gonna leave it for a time lapse. There's there's a lot to think about over there. I'll leave that for a time lapse. Okay. Uh what else do we have to do? Um first of all, let's take a look at some of these animals and make sure they're doing alright over here. Well actually. I think the first thing I should do is probably trade out a couple of animals. We've got uh, a lot of animals in storage. And again, before we get into a, a live streamed uh, trade session, I want to try trading some like this. We have saltwater crocodiles first. I just want I just want to try and set some things up for trade, and then we can start uh, looking around at some of the animals. Um, where is my? There we go. Saltwater croc. Literally reading bottom to top, even though I scrolled down to S on purpose. Uh, 5k is looking like a good number. 1k. Alright. I'd be fine with 1,000 for, for these guys. These guys are albino as well. Those are the things. So they have that quote-unquote advantage. Price. People pricing for, uh, for what people want. That's how the market works. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> just want to click next. I mean, I guess 1,000 is fair. If you don't want an albino crocodile, I'll be one of the only people providing one. Uh, let's go. Come on now. Trade you out. And at one point, it's really just like... I want to trade some of these guys out. I just, like, might even drop the price to 500. We're trying 1,000, and we'll see what happens afterwards. This guy might do 500. 
Again, we don't desperately need conservation credits right now, but eventually we will. Or you always need conservation credits, and not just that, but like our storage is just getting way too full. Way too full. 42 out of 50. Like eventually we're going to run out of space at this point. Um, got a couple Jaguars as well. You know, let's do the Jaguars as well. Oh my god, look at these. Look at the number of tortoises and everything. Okay. The Galapagos giant tortoise. I believe they tend to go real fast, don't they? They tend to go pretty quickly. Space. Um, Alright, let's start with the Galapagos. Even more babies coming through. Alright. What are we looking at in terms of your value, so to speak? Very hesitant to use that word there. Galapagos. Or is it giant? No, it starts with Galapagos. GA, there we go. 500, really? 500, eh? Oh, okay. Sure, whatever. I'll. Fine. Again, like I said, we don't. We're not. We're not in a desperate spot for, for conservation credits. I just want to get some of these animals elsewhere. Uh, so. Go 500 for you. Be a reasonable price. Go ahead and do 500 for you. Hopefully we're not trading out uh, someone we're supposed to be keeping. I don't think so. Done. Lena, you are bronze tier, so let's go with, say, 250. Come on. Raul, same with you. Trade you out for 250. Done. Who else? Let's do the uh, Aldabra giant tortoises. We're almost done here, actually. This is going fast. I just want to do the animals that we have plenty of. So there's like less going back and forth. Uh, 2,000? A uh, thousand seems a bit more reasonable. I would say a thousand is fair. Sure. Let's do that. Don't think anyone's been shipped out yet. Where are you? There you are. I don't know. Maybe a thousand is too much. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> like I said, I just want to ship some animals, man. Like, I'm not going to give them away for like 10 conservation credits, but I'm willing to be a bit more flexible here. Uh, and then the Jaguars, right? We have quite a few. One keeper. Everybody else is good to go. Got a couple babies in here as well. Why do we have... Why do we have these three in here? What? I don't remember moving them. Uh, okay. Zoo, animals. Looking for... Jaguar. That scroll is perfect. Welfare is kind of low. Enrichment. Ah, that's because we haven't unpaused yet. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, we have... You. All of you. You're not in the Trade Center. Why does it say you're in the Trade Center? Was I looking at the wrong thing? Did I really... No. Couldn't have been. This is on the wrong filter. Alright, look. We're gonna do this. Um, J for Jaguar. 4,000s, 2,000s, 1,500s. Goes down to below 1,000 even. I feel like ours are worth 1,000. Like, we have very good stats across the board almost. Let's go for 1,000 here. Let's go for 1,000 here. Okay, maybe maybe not all of them have good stats across the board, but immunity is one of those things that's pretty, uh, what's it called, flexible, I guess. It uh, it changes based on more than just genetics. Like, just as a one-to-one -one comparison, I mean. Yeah, see, look, these are these are good stats. Yeah, what? Why are you... You're also a child. You. Trade you for a thousand. And great genes. Off you go. You as well. Look at these. Look at these genes. Oh my god. I kind of don't want to trade you out. Now you're 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 absolutely prime. Keeping Guatemoc over here. Oof, also really good genes. Actually, not as good as uh Oh no. Uh Shoshi Kotsen. Shoshi Sh Shochi Shochi Kotsen? I think the X is like a show sound if I recall correctly. Slightly better, but uh not the end of the world. You're a child as well. But and trade you. Oh, look at that. Thousand is the suggested price. Are you kidding me? 
might have missed that for one of the uh, earlier ones. Um, I think that's about it for now. Everybody else can kind of wait. Those are our most like densely packed ones. Um, I don't think we've had any luck yet. Trade history, really nothing at all shows here right now. Fair enough. I guess it's been some time since we've picked any animals up as well. It didn't feel that way, but maybe. Um, all right, so that's that. I actually needed to do a couple more things back at our uh, otter zone. This is not that. Back at our otter. Cool. Um, what are those things? Those things are, we got to get some cameras down. I find it hilarious. I was literally just talking about the ABCs, right? And what did I go ahead and do? <laughs> Good stuff. Pop you down here. Can we change your color? Can't they? Eh? I do like that you can do this. Does it serve a purpose? Not really. But it's fun. Um, I can't change the color. That's kind of weird. I thought, I thought you could. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Don't really need a camera over here. Put one over here, perhaps. Can we do this kind of a thing? I'd like to like tuck it in so it's not so invasive. It's so bright and white. I wish we could like make it beige so it hides in a little bit. Let me just check real quick. Security. Oh, decent coverage over here. Like massive, massive, massive blank spaces. Um, we could put another one down over here, sure. Put you in like that. And let's go ahead and put another one down this side. Yeah, as you can see, we definitely need a lighting pass sometime soon as well. I really wonder if that's what I do next. I, I feel like I suggested that maybe we do that next instead of, uh, Instead of an animal, um, for this session, maybe I might be misremembering, but that's that's kind of how I'm leaning right now, seeing how dark the zoo is. All the stuff that uh, kind of gets set aside again, like I was saying, when we do like animal, 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 back to back to back, these kind of things do get a little set aside, and they start falling behind. And obviously, I mean, animals are a primary uh, element of the game. That goes without saying. However, also a management game. There's also all these other stuff to uh, to other things to do and I quite enjoy doing them too like I enjoy doing a nice a good beauty pass like last session right last session was supposed to be a larger beauty pass it ended up staying rather focused to this one area uh but I feel like it took this space from um like a six to a seven <laughs> I can't give myself tens I <laughs> but you know what I mean right like I, could give, I can't get I can't give myself myself eights or nines or tens that just feels weird but uh, but you know what I mean like, it brought this place to uh, to another level, just spending that time doing that beauty pass. And quite a bit of these places don't have those beauty passes done yet. And the other thing is, like, there were some great suggestions on how to do, like, lighting in this area as well that I want to try and experiment with. Uh, and, and lighting is the same, just like a beauty pass. It's super fun to do, and it can elevate a space to um, just new heights. Pop you down over here. Sure. A little blind spot over here, but uh, come on now. How, how bad... How bad can people be in that one corner, right? Got a small blind spot over here as well. I mean, or maybe we could move this thing over to here. Feels like a bit more of a nice spot to put it. Covers this trash can as well. We know how vandals like to kick over trash cans. That's that. We have a bit of a blind spot over here and a bit over here. I think. We'll... And what I could do is I could go ahead and move you over to here instead. Leaves the washroom open for vandalism. Don't know how I like that. <laughs> don't think I do like that. All right, fine. Costs us next to nothing. Let's go ahead and push this terrain back as well. I just realized it's blocking the space here. Now, with all that said and done, oh, hang on a second. Do we need more cameras in the area? This area is fine. This area is okay as well. Yeah, it looks like we're all right. There might be a couple of blind spots again here and there, but overall, we're doing okay. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Um, so that's that. There is also the matter of work zones where's my staff actually vet research are we researching the otters i believe we are i'm pretty sure yeah okay well there's that confirmation that i wanted um over to staff over to work zones over to south america center there's a more than just a couple things i need adding over here get all you guys get all you guys all you guys thank you get you and you and you 
cool. By the way, to those of you asking, there is currently a path that connects uh, this area to the um, the Africa section. Uh, we could go a bit more directly to the uh, the food stuff, like the the food court and stuff in the uh, in the Africa section. But I feel like that's not too much of an additional walk, and it works nicer as well. Like it fits nicely as opposed to having to reinvent that uh, that area entirely. Um, all right, so that's that taken care of, and now the uh, looks so oh, so nice. One thing about the lighting. Anyway, um, the, the the final final touch over here. I figure out how I feel about those lights. Anyway, the final touch over here, as I was saying, keep interrupting myself rudely, is uh, well, I call it final. It's the second to final. That's nah, the final naming. There we go. I was like, now nah, I can categorize this all together. Naming. Uh, we have the info center. From henceforth, you shall be known as you ought to know. The Mexilente. From here on out, you are Auto Taco. I, I like to imagine they have like machine made tacos over here, like entirely uh, machine crafted tacos, if you will. So it's an it's an auto taco. My little personal headcanon. Pip Shot Smoothies shall be known as uh, Ananas. So I need to verify one thing. There was there was there was two halves to uh to this and one thing i need to verify is the uh translation uh in portuguese though there is an accent uh that i'm missing over here in portuguese this is the word for pineapples correct me if i'm wrong uh it is also a reference to a tupi word uh nanas i'm probably butchering that so excuse me but uh nanas is the tupi word for excellent fruit and there's actually a third layer that it kind of sounds like bananas bananas so there's there's layers this thing's like an ogre this thing's like an onion there's layers uh so that's the explanation to ananas and it goes with the whole you know fruit uh leaning <laughs> angle over here touches on a couple of layers there uh, i particularly like the 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 excellent fruit angle i just kind of you know for fruit smooth i was just yeah uh, the pip shot water over here is going to be called lauder water you know like a a, a, a lot a lot of water a lot of water oh god <laughs> and then our uh our, our our lou over here will be otter lou i got two versions one with a space one without a space i'm like blending them together i'm taking the one that had the space and two capital letters blending it with the one that did not have a space, but keeping the capital letters. Yeah. Otterloo. Just touches on too many things for me that I that I enjoy. And now every time I come over here, I'm going to have the uh, ABBA song stuck in my head of all things, except with the lyrics changed to Otterloo. God, it's going to be great. Um, but yeah, so uh, as always, I mean, picking names is such a tough challenge. You, you guys made it especially difficult this time around. There were so many, so many good suggestions. Uh, so keep them coming. I, I do quite enjoy it. And on the topic of naming, we have to, of course, name this space as well. Now, last time I kind of made it sound like I, had, I was satisfied with where I was planning on putting the name down. But now that the time has actually come, I don't know if I am satisfied with the uh, location I picked. I think it still works. You know what? Yeah, I think it still works. I'm going to put it up over here. It, it'll break up the texture over here. It'll make it a, uh, an interesting thing to look at. Uh, and and though it will probably require that I move this thing over. And it's buddy as well. Now the vote went... Uh, it's kind of hard to say. Um, part of me is like, oh, you know, I'm kind of surprised by the results. Part of me is like, nope, that went uh, exactly uh, how I expected it to go. Um, I'll, again, I'll be honest. I liked I liked both of the the names um, as, as options, so I wouldn't mind. Uh, my, I wouldn't have minded it going either way. Uh, that's why I needed that uh, vote to to help me make the decision. But it was a very very large uh, gap in terms of uh, of the pick. I think that's the part that surprised me. I was expecting it to be. Um, I was expecting it to to go the way it did, uh, but I was expecting the the gap to be a lot shorter. I'm actually going to pull it up over here really quickly. I hope you all don't mind, but I, I, I like sharing this kind of stuff. I love seeing how like votes go down and whatnot. But it was a 70 
30, approximately, 70-30 split, with over 300 votes, about 308 votes, a 70-30 split in favor of the name we're going for. And uh, the name we're going for, no need to be all mysterious because you're going to see me write it out in real time. It's a little different when it's, uh, when it's time-lapsed, obviously, because, you know, it goes by a lot quicker. Uh, but I do need to pick a font. I think I like Boogaloo for this. 3D. Uh, no. Ever since they, like, reworked how the searching for the alphabet works, it's throwing me off. Big one? A small one. I think I need the small one to actually fit over here. All right. So we're going with Lantra Lagoon. So that means you're going to have to teach me how to say Lantra. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't know if it's like I got to like roll my R or something there, which I'm notoriously bad at doing. Uh, but Lantra Lagoon. It means, Lantra means uh, otter in Portuguese. And one of the, actually one of the uh, other suggestions I had for the for our Otterloo was uh, Lantra Latrine. <laughs> and I was like, again, this is the, this is the decision-making logic that I, like, I, I try to apply from time to time or that I have to, like, go through to be like, okay, well, we have, we have one of these in the area already. How can we, like, what, 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 what keeps things fresh? Like, it's, it's this is all the, um, <laughs> like, often unspoken uh, thinking that goes behind some of these things. Uh, but yeah, I was like, okay, well, we already have a Lantra going down for the uh, the enclosure name with Lantra Lagoon. So uh, let's, rather than repeat that for uh, Lantra Latrine, let's go with uh, with, with Otter Loop. <laughs> and that's not the only reason. Like, uh, uh, the, the the reference is just too, uh, too good for me to, to let slip by. Uh, but that was part of the decision-making process. So Lantra. I also quite like the uh, the Lagoon touch. Uh, I think quite a few of you a couple of sessions ago actually brought up the whole Lagoon vibe and I actually inadvertently I brought it up last session as well. Um, it really does feel that way. Uh, it really does feel it's got that like kind of intimate and uh, uh, isolated feel. Lantra Lagoon. Go. Oh. Am I pleased with this? Where's my floor here? Lantra Lagoon. Okay, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I want to lower this a little bit, though. This is where things get a little not too challenging this time around. Sometimes selecting the letters can be a royal pain. Good, make you a group over here, pull you down. Question is, do I want it to stay white? Probably not. I think we can change this to a nice kind of like beige. Uh, okay, not going a little too far there. A bit more yellow. It needs to be legible, obviously. Yeah, something like that. It's just like a bit more kind of like earth tones, if you will. Earthy colors. Feels a bit more like it belongs. Some of these need a little bit of tweaking still. Slam you right up against the rock over here. You're all good, you're all good. This guy needs to be tucked in. Go. Nice and easy. Copy in the oh. Beautiful. And excellent. And absolutely. Lantra Lagoon. I quite like it. Now we should take a look at some otter options. Because there are some extremely, extremely adorable ones. Okay, that's just Okay, listen, this is this is I mean, whoever did this art like A plus. I absolutely love it. But it is 100% like derpy looking in like the best possible way. I I genuinely do mean that as a compliment. Like I love this. This is amazing. Um but I don't know if it works with our overall style in this space. Probably a little too uh goofy for us over here. Hmm. Or maybe we could make it work. Okay, let's let's try the other one. How about the other one? It, it's again. I want to be very clear. Like, I love it. It just stylistically might not match. Um, <laughs> face is priceless. Wouldn't mind owning a little like pin or something with just that face on it. Uh, what am I looking for? Construction. What about this guy? Uh, that one. Damn, these are really nice. 
the shapes on them and stuff. Hmm. How do we make you work, buddy? Something like that. I'm not going to do that. I can already see the comments from that. <laughs> Copy like this, maybe. There's something, something here. There's something here. All right. Okay. Can we? You know, can't change your color or anything. That's fine. No, you know, I, I, I guess I, I quite like that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, do you have a flip side? You do. All right. So what we could do actually is we could go ahead and rotate you. I don't know, it's not. Don't think that's gonna fly. Come on. I think I liked it the other way. Yeah, I did. There's something about the the, the, the dynamics of the shape, it just works a little bit better this way. To try and rotate it a bit more. Feels like he's not just kind of floating in, in place, but is like making his way up top, I guess. All right, all right, there's something there. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is not exactly how I expected or anticipated this to go, but it's how it's going. I like it. And light on. Wondering if I want to put some of these things down. I do like them, but they're maybe not the right... style. Maybe. Well, okay, this is fun. They might become part of our sponsor boards or something. I've got a sponsor request already for the otters. Uh, I've got it noted down, so thank you for that. I will be doing a quick call on uh, animal sponsors and stuff again when the uh, next month comes around. I think the otters will probably get some treatment using these guys, because these are these are really good pieces as well. We'll, we'll, we'll sort that out. We'll sort that out. Okay, cool. Um, quite happy with this. Lantra Lagoon. I want to make sure that we... Do not forget, however, to assign the name officially. There you are. Lantra Lagoon. Nice. Oh, man. Okay. That's that taken care of. Now, do we actually have any trouble brewing with any of these animals? I know quite a few of these guys are trying to get a bit on the older side. Have we made any sales yet? We haven't, eh? Might actually have to do a live one. Might actually have to do a live one. What do y'all think? I quite enjoyed our live uh, trading session. That was good to just kind of like chill. Uh, we didn't get a lot done, so to speak, that episode. Uh, but we also did. We managed to empty out our uh, our, 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 our trade. Um, what's it called? Our, our storage, right? So let me know what y'all think. Uh, and I'll make a call accordingly. Okay. We have way, 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 way too many. Oh, what a crocodiles over here. Mum's on the old side. Oh, that's the state, right? Like, I didn't want to like miss out on these fantastic genetics. There will be more. There will be more. I, when I say we have way too many, I mean, the animals are still fine, I think. But uh, but just from, like, our perspective, it's a lot of them. I don't think we need that many. But yeah, I don't want to... Let's go ahead and unpause here. I don't want to miss out on some of the, the great genes we have going on right now. Oh, what do we got going on over here? Ah, yes, of course. Gautel has passed away. Olivet. A good way to direct our attention as well. So we do have Iototal in our storage. Are you... Where are you, buddy? There you are. Compare mates. I'm pretty sure we don't have a, a pairing over here. Inbreeding, inbreeding, inbreeding. Who has the better stats? 75, 75, double 80. Okay, double 75, double 83. Alright, so. I total is the one to go with. We just gotta bring in some other bears tapers. Where are you, buddy? Here we go. Move you in. Let's go ahead and get ourselves. A male, right? Because I total was a female. Well, 
guessing she's been moved now. I'm fairly confident. Yeah, yeah, she was a female. She had to be because these two are, uh, sorry, these two are males. So she had to be a female. So we need to go ahead and set, bring ourselves a male. Baird's tape here. Come on now. Clicking, man. The clicking. Baird's tape here. Come on. I believe in you. Always grinds my gears, man. Just like, come on. I was trying to close this tab. Thank you. Peace. Aw, oh, nothing of quality here, eh? Nothing of quality. What about you? In a way, potentially a bit better. Alright. Go for it. Let's go for... Damn it. <laughs> well, we don't have much of a choice over here then. Gotta move you over to quarantine first. Hang on a second. Was that an inbreeding notification or just a regular breeding notification? Quarantine. Fighting. Ah, okay. This is something I have to take care of as well as the overcrowding up over here. Got a fair bit of that going on. Ogbona, are you not okay to mate? I thought you were now. We just brought him in last session, if I recall correctly. Good. 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 Your on contraceptives, you're good. Yeah, okay, so we should be fine over here. But there is the overcrowding to deal with still. We have a few too many males. Zaid and Akiki, go ahead and release her to the wild. Thank you. That should solve the problem. Yeah, cool. Done and done. We can resume now. Panic over here. All right, cool. Uh, Crocs, we've done the bear's tape. What about the uh, giant anteater? I think the giant anteater is doing okay. And... Yeah, these guys should be fine. You're on contraceptives already. Okay, good stuff. How about our monkeys over here? I mean, we've seen some good luck very recently. Two babies, right? So that's good. We have a couple more females who are potential uh, mates. Like potential, oh, I figure out the way to phrase this. Sources of offspring, I suppose, is one way to do it. I need to adjust this, don't I? It's just barely out of reach. Let's go ahead and nudge you over, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and nudge you over ever so slightly. Come on. Okay. This is gonna do this to me. Okay. Try this. Oh, that's not what I meant. Get rid of the group there. There we go. That should do the trick. Covers everything that needs covering. Rotate you slightly. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Cool. That way, at least, that those animals will not be suffering every time this thing is even slightly damaged. That's what was going on there. Ooh, we've called the mechanic for, I'm pretty sure. Good. Okay, cool. Um, kangaroos. I feel like I feel like our kangaroos haven't seen any uh, attention in a long time. It's been It's been some time. Quite a few of them are infertile. Quite a few of them are infertile, actually. Quite a few of them are on contraceptives. We might need to bring in a new male. Pretty sure Mini Gululu is a brother to these ladies. Come on now. Good alpha though. Inbreeding. Oh, okay. There's some options, though you're infertile, I take it. Okay, hold on a second. So Birali is inbreeding. Banalanju is infertile. Jedda is... What's wrong with Jedda? Not on contraceptives. Not inbreeding. Not... Uh, oh, recent birth. Okay, cool. Ellen, inbreeding. Maruchi, inbreeding. Other Maruchi, infertile. Alright, you know what? I think we need a new uh, male. These stats are alright. These stats are fine. 
Yeah, I think we'll be fine with a new male. All right, get you off contraceptives. Ah, uh, you're fine. You off contraceptives. You off contraceptives. All right, cool. You, just before I forget, put you on contraceptives. And go ahead and send you to the trade center. Over to animal trading. Bring ourselves a new male kangaroo. Are you kangaroo? Hopefully there's a good one available. And that's what it all boils down to, right? Right, it's a red kangaroo, not just a kangaroo. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, nice. Oh, we need a male. Good male option. Not bad. So, uh... Hang on a second. You got the same name. That, that would get a little confusing. More than a little confusing. <laughs> kind of tempting, though. Sure, you know what? Let's go ahead and get, uh, get you in here. Good, uh, good price, good stats. Yeah, sure. Stop you first to the uh, quarantine, of course. Now, last session, we did get to take care of our koalas. We, we, we've been able to take care of some animals here and there as they've come up in, like, the notifications and whatnot. But I also feel like some of them I've been, like, kind of tucking the uh, notifications under the rug, as it were. All right, quarantine passed on you. And move you to Pachamama's garden. Okay, good stuff. Thought I saw another animal listed there, but maybe that was a temporary problem or something. Uh, our tortoises are doing all right. Our jaguars, I feel like we, uh, we've we touched on them recently as well. Oh, look at those battle scars. And we got the kiddos in here. They're having a good time. You guys are looking good. Some of them are getting kind of old. Some of them are getting real old. Damn, we're going to have to swap them in soon. How long have these two uh, supplied us with an endless stream of some of the best jaguars the world has ever seen? Getting old, though. All right, we've been here. These guys are okay. They're about to have some more offspring. Which facility? This staff lounge is upsetting people. All right, because as they drive by, we'll, we'll maybe sort that out. Not the end of the world. It really hasn't had a that much of a negative impact, I don't think. Uh, yeah, these guys are okay. Our tortoises are all okay. I think these guys are okay as well. A lot of babies, but I don't think we have any problems going on over here. Quite a few babies. I want to put down some more spots to eat. And at this rate, we also need more hard shelter. Let's go ahead and get you on contraceptives. Because we are uh, rapidly running out of space for these guys. Very rapidly. Hope that helps a little bit. I don't think we can... It's okay, not great. Lift these guys out a little bit. This kind of a thing. This kind of a thing. Oh. Come on. There we go. I'm less responsive to my clicks. 45%. Yeah, we're going to have to chip quite a few of those kids out. Animal has escaped. I'll look at that in a second. Hopefully reaching adulthood shortly, and then we just have to be a bit more careful. Look at that. That's, a, that's way too many. That is way too many. Capture you. Quarantine passed over here. Move you over to Kangaroo Kuyang. Excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, what else have we got? I think the gorillas are doing okay. I feel like we've uh, kind of touched on them recently as well. I really like this space. I'm I'm very happy with how this zoo has uh, turned out. Couple kids. I wonder if we should maybe start. Um... Hmm. I guess we're okay actually. I was just gonna say it's like I wonder if we start trading on some of these gorillas. Not necessary. Not mistaken.
Where did you jump to? Oh, okay, over here. Very curious about that. Uh, where's the Zoopedia? There you are. What kind of numbers are we looking at over here? Three to six. One male, five females. One male, five females. We're okay, but as soon as the other boys come of age, we're gonna have to uh, trade them out. Same with this uh, last uh, female as well. Okay, well, we're 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 up we're up at that limit though. We're up at that limit. We're getting there. Like butting up against it. Up over here, I believe these guys are doing all right. You are not what I wanted to click on. All right. We have some infertile. Oh no, the queen. The queen herself is infertile. That's not ideal. Got our A star in Verona over here. Contraceptives as well, of course. We need to. I think we need to bring in a new uh, male, perhaps. Could kind of leave them as they are right now. I don't. Just, <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the queen. Okay, we're fine over here. Infertile, though, right? Fine over here as well. So maybe I should take you off of contraceptives. You on contraceptives again? Silver rank, so not a terrible idea. Fine over here as well. Fine over here as well. I'm reading there. Okay. I, hmm. How much of a risk is inbreeding among the, uh... Because they don't have... Do they have an alpha? I forget now. They have a matriarchal society. Okay. Gotcha. Right. How can I forget that? Well, once the queen of... Okay, so once the queen of Kenya goes away, we'll, uh... We'll reinvestigate the situation. We'll reinvestigate the situation and, and see what, uh, what we might need to do over here. And I, I think we'll do the same for our uh, our ringtail lemurs as well. Wait until there's a, a change in, uh, in in the head of state, as it were, and then we'll come back and, and, and see what we need to uh, tweak. Uh, apart from that, though, these guys have been doing all right. Haven't had any issues over here, not for a very long time. The lions have been doing alright as well. They haven't had any issues, though. Watch, this is all about lions. No, it's not. It's about these guys. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Social health. Right, there's too many of you. That's what's wrong. You two over to the Trade Center. Good stuff. And, of course, most of these guys we've dealt, we've uh, worked on recently, right? We've done the koalas. These three we've worked on a lot lately. Oh, yeah, I feel like we've uh, basically covered all of our bases there. All the animals got a little bit of time and attention. Um, either this session or, you know, like last session. Um, pretty sure these guys are doing all right. We might want to take a look here, though. We got a couple of females. Uh, Adolfo is kind of old. Not infertile, but, but old. All right, so as soon as Adolfo passes over here, we'll need to get ourselves a new male. It kind of works out. Kind of works out. And we can get everybody off of contraceptives at that point. All right, cool. Now, what about our giraffes over here? We actually have a bit of a situation here. Well, not a situation. It's not like it's the end of the world. All right, you are able to mate. This would be inbreeding. Okay, so actually, we don't have a situation at all. All right, cool, 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 cool. Fantastic. And fantastic. I feel like, folks, that uh, pretty much is our management session. And I really, I really do like how that uh, stands out like that over there, off in the corner. Blue and orange, man. All right, for real though, time for us to uh, wrap it up like a giraffe, I guess. We did manage to, puns aside, wrap up a lot of the loose ends that I was. Um, a little concerned about they were they were starting to get a little overwhelming. Look how look how adorable look at those eyelashes. They're so cute. Look at the no look at like the overhang. It's just they're just so cute. Uh, I feel like today we managed to actually um, accomplish a fair bit there. Uh, just to put my mind at ease the next time we have to uh, you know stay focused on a single animal. I'm, I'm a little less worried about 
animals dying or not having any, anybody to breed with or, or what have you. So I feel like we're in a much better space now than we were before this session. It doesn't look like any of our animal trades actually went through. The reason why I did that earlier was because I was hoping to see if, uh, oh, hey, I was mistaken. Just the math canceled it, uh, canceled it all out, basically. No, it didn't. I just didn't do the math properly in my head. Whatever it is, good. I'm glad we've made a couple of sales. That's at least a little reassuring. Maybe we'll make some more. There's still some time left for some of these animals on sale. Uh, but, uh, but if not, failing that, 20, 30 minutes, failing that, we might have to do a live trade session that's feeling more and more likely the longer we uh, go on. But folks, that's something to discuss another time. I hope you enjoyed this session. Again, let me know your thoughts on uh, the whole beauty versus animal edition next time. When I say beauty, I probably mean lighting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. As always, I look at the comments to get an idea of how people feel, what you're hoping for, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for. Feedback, opinions, stories, y'all know the drill. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.